if you want. All right, so you guys, your plan is to go to the grotto and <laughs> test out these mushrooms? Heck yeah. All yep. right. And there's going to be right. a singing crab just over there, like, sha la 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 my oh my <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there will be. There will right. be if they're good mushrooms. <laughs> so, all right, you guys go to the grotto. Um, it's not too crowded. Uh, you see some... It's, it's not as bright as it was yesterday, just because indigo go isn't give off as much of a nice hue as just regular blue. Um, but it's still a nice spot. You can see the reflections off the, the cavern, the top of the cavern. Um, you guys find yourself a secluded little bench area. Um, it's not really a one bench. It's more like just kind of a flat space. And maybe there's some rocks and benches. But it's a little, you know... I want Five to have brought a picnic company. blanket and a picnic basket and snacks and water. Uh, you guys, if you guys have all your equipment, you have your rolls and rations. Yeah, bring so, some water. Yeah. And... So you guys, we should probably be like off to the side instead of in the middle of everything. Like, yeah, if, like if a... you were in the middle, you'd be like in the middle of the water. So it's like a big, well, you know what I mean. it's a big glowing yeah. lake. Yeah. So. You guys are kind of like in a corner. Um, I can't remember. Was there like a waterfall or is it just a, a lake? No, it's not a waterfall. It's just a lake. No um, water feature? Come on. It's glowing. Jeez, <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I don't have... Water? I, don't have <laughs> I thought I made that clear. Yeah. Well, uh, then, you know, who knows? Who knows what you will see? Uh, so who is going to uh, divide up the mushroom? I have it. I'll do oh, it. Oh, lucky. yeah, I'll lucky. give it to Kelwin. Okay. So we'll just call this the grotto. Um, and you guys maybe are in, like, how about you? we just put you in the corner there? Sure. Kind of, like, hanging out. Well, that's not you. I, I, um, I'm going to say, guys, I, I forgot something back at the place. I'll be back in a minute. And I'm going to say, start without me, and I'm going to run off till they can't see me. <laughs> I don't think you to have any mushrooms. Well, she's a loser. Oh, that's right. She. Sorry. Uh, the adventures okay. of the cool warlock. <laughs> so. All the cool kids are doing it. I mean, come on. So, Nakoya, you're going to take off. Huh? I, I, I forgot something. I'll be right back. Start without me. I'll, I promise I'll be right back. Liar. Okay. Do you All right, do you yes. want us to save you a piece or no? Yeah, yeah, save me a piece. I'll be, I'll be right back though. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna divvy this up as best I can into five equal sized pieces. Okay. Kind of hard to do. Whichever one's Dominic? like kind of the biggest, I'm gonna keep for myself though, because you know I have yes, a very high yeah. tolerance. Uh, I'm I'm gonna kind of hide nearby where I can see them, but they can't see me. <laughs> All right, we'll I suggest splitting it into four instead of five. You're behind a rock. No, it's no, it's easier math. No, it's gonna be five. <laughs> it's easier math. <laughs> All right. So you guys drop. <laughs> Pop lock and drop it. Let's go. All right. So who's having? So everyone but Nikoya is having a piece of the mushroom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We, fit, apparently. we don't even have a chaperone. I know. Oh, Nikoya. Are them. they? Can you let me know when they're like sufficiently high? <laughs> oh, you're gonna fuck with us. Oh God yeah. Damn demon. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I appreciate that. Um, you guys each take a bite of the mushroom, and when the yellow fungus on it kind of like the yellow spots start to dissolve first, and they just almost weird. The mushrooms almost dissolve. You don't really eat them; they just kind of dissolve in your mouth. And you can swallow a little bit, but there's not it's just they get really mushy. And, Has a taste? Uh, it tastes like <sighs> tastes like dirt. <laughs> Ah. Dirt and dandelion. Delicious. Dandelion and dirt. Um, so, uh, 
each of you roll a constitution constitution saving throw. Are we able to just choose to fail? Yeah. I no. guess you can choose no. not to roll, right? You could you could lie about your roll, I guess. Well, but no. It's not, you know. <laughs> well, I need, is I need this to because there's no need to lie. I got a. Well, three. I got eight. Is this <laughs> poison? Roll, not a lie. Is this Actually, poison? I need you all to, to roll. Well, we'll find out. Um, I need you <gasps> all to roll a. Uh, oh, fucking bad. Actually, I need you all to roll two. Okay, if you, either of them are poison, I get you advantage. Have to <laughs> poison, I know. I and know. advantage. Well, I just need to know if I'm rolling with advantage oh, or not. Oh. You are not rolling advantage. Okay. These are not poison. Okay. So, so roll a constitution oh, saving throw twice? Twice, yes. Okay, well, the first one was 24. Wow, okay. The second one okay. was... 17. <laughs> what was the second one? <laughs> the second one? Is... So, my first one was 24, my second one oh. was 7. Okay. Uh, Valmaya? 8 and 11. Lucky. I think my first one was three. Okay. Is that what I said? Do you guys remember? Yeah, yeah, it was um, twelve. Yeah, three. Second one, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, winter. Twelve and nineteen. Twelve and nineteen. Nice. Um. All right. You guys all pop this in. Kind of dissolves. You swallow it. You sit there for a couple of minutes. Um. Winter. You start to feel pretty sick. Oh. Um, but you, your, your mouth starts filling with saliva, but you, you manage to like keep it together. <laughs> uh, Lucky and Velmaya, you both puke, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I uh, eat the puke. <laughs> you guys, no. You guys, you guys, so we lost oh, the whole mushroom? No, we don't get any no, of the experience? No, 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 wait, let me finish. You guys or we both survive. throw up, but for some reason you're still feeling like you're like this, like you're really still like, it, it's like everything's starting to get kind of wavy. And so you guys got sick, but you didn't lose any of the effects. It's kind of like instantly in your mouth. Okay. Um, uh... So, Kelvin, you don't feel sick at all. Do you're I feel like, like a little sweaty? No, you're fine. You rolled a 24. Um, but with that 7 roll, and with... Oh, Belmaya's 11, right? Um, with that 7 roll, uh, you just pass out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I see. You pass out, and then... Uh, Valmaya, Lucky, and Winter do not pass out. And you guys, you guys start to like see things. So the the stalactites on the ceiling start getting longer, and they start dripping into the lake, just getting down and dripping and dripping. The the lights flickering off the ceiling of the cavern uh, sort of just starts turning to clouds um and it's like oh wow it's nice to be outside again isn't it it's so pretty i think i see a dog i'm so sad (laughs) you guys see the shapes of the animals in the clouds i think i see a dog what are clouds can i tell they are sufficiently high at this point uh you have seen what you see is kelwin passed out (laughs) Okay. And you see uh, Velmaya, you see the others just basically looking up. <laughs> looking up at the, the ceiling, the cavern ceiling. Okay. Um, I'm going to change my appearance with my mask okay. thing. Um, and I'm going to be uh, right. my mask of many faces. Okay. <gasps> and <laughs> I'm going to become like a beefy looking kobold I guess <laughs> with like really cool looking armor um that's maybe as tall as I can get uh I have to do you have a mask of many faces handy yeah uh I can 
What does it do? <laughs> cast disguise self at will. I can cast disguise self at will. Okay, are there any saves? Like, do they have to roll perception? Do they have to roll perception or wisdom or like? Can they see through I, the disguise? Is there any? I don't know. Uh, Mask of Many Faces, Warlock. See Eldritch in. Do you know about that <laughs> at all? Mm -hmm. Um, just reading it, it now. Whatever disguise self, I guess, would be. Okay, well, you do that. A beefy, well-armored kobold, and you're walking over towards them. Yes. To, and I'm gonna throw discern, my arm right. to discern that you are disguised, oh. a creature can use its action to inspect your appearance and must succeed on an intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC. Okay. Okay. But they have to make that option. Yeah. Take they have to have a reason to, you know, suspect, suspect that you're magically not a thick kobold. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk up and throw okay, my arms right. up in the air. Uh, and I'm going to use my thaumaturgy thing when my voice boom. <laughs> and I'm going to go, I am Kronomak! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm asleep. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, isn't he supposed to be like a dragon? Kelvin, uh, please, please roll a uh, d20 for me. Okay. Fourteen. Uh, uh, based on wisdom. Oh, thirteen. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, it would be wisdom. Okay. Thir thirteen. Uh, so, um, this boom. You, you're sleeping. And suddenly, you just hear this big boom, and you start up. You just like, and uh, unlike uh, the rest, the other three, whose uh, nice light, you know, whose 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 vision started coming gradually, you get woken up and you are startled into like just dripping stalactite, <laughs> flying everywhere. Oh my god! I'm probably like Weird. flinching, thinking like I'm getting dripped on the whole time. There's oh this screaming, well-armored kobold in the middle of you guys. Um, so, uh, the rest of you turn and you see this kobold claiming here's Turtle Mac. And there's other kobolds around. Oh, yeah. And they look at you. And there's some kids and like, no, you're not Colonel Mac. Colonel Mac's a dragon. You're not <laughs> <laughs> the Cobalt the, the children are like and, and, and annoying like, valley and girls. Are totally <laughs> what? What? Lucky? And I'm like, but she's pretty. <laughs> um. Wait, are you? Uh. Yeah. So. Um. So yeah. So that's happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do they react in any way? Or are they just going to stare asking. at me? <laughs> what are you guys, guys going to do now that... Uh, I just kind of look, I'm like, oh. And then I look back up at the ceiling. My pulse is definitely okay. racing, and I'm definitely yeah. sweating. <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and I, uh, who's close to me? Uh, you guys are all... Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'm next to Winter, it looked like. I will just say that like, you guys were all kind of like evenly spaced, and he walked right up into the middle of you. <laughs> Can I scooch closer to Winter and just, in what I think is a whisper, but really loudly, like, is that Girdle Mac? I just turn to him and I think I'm whispering, but I'm speaking really loudly. Like, I think it's an imposter. <laughs> wait, 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 uh, wait. There's a. There's supposed to be a statue. <laughs> what? There's. There's supposed to be a statue of Cuddle Mac. There is. Is, nice. Aren't we supposed to be able to see it from where we are? You are. You are. <laughs> Does he look anything like the statue? No, no. no. <laughs> dragon. Dragon? And, and he, dragon, dragon, dragon. <laughs> um, and he is definitely just a well-armored kobold. 
Can I use my mask to add wings? Uh, it says I, you can't change your body shape, so you can't like rearrange. Uh, so you have to be okay. like. You've sorry. already used it, so I'm not yeah. sure. I mean, yeah. I can cast it at will. Oh, okay. But gonna... we'd also just see you casting it too. Mm. Oh, would you be able to tell? Yeah. No, yeah, I don't know. Would you though? Because yeah, you're all fly and just wings appear on his back. It could be a magic thing. But anyway, no, you can't give yourself wings right now. Okay. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna stand up and scream imposter and try to tackle her. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what? Sorry. Okay. Uh, you you stand up and uh, you're a <laughs> fall over. <laughs> You're a little wobbly. Uh, please, yep. please roll a dexterity. Actually, we'll call this acrobatics. Please, please roll a no dexterity. Really dexterity. For some reason, I was picturing that scene from Parks and Rec where they're all super hungover from that like booze that they all drank, and Chris Pratt like has this conversation with someone while sitting down. He immediately stands up really fast and just throws up everywhere. Like... <laughs> uh, um, Valmaya, please roll a, a d20. If you get above a ten, you stand up successfully. If not, you fall on your butt. I got 11! Alright! <laughs> so, you get up. It's wobbly, but you get up. And, okay, uh, roll, well, um, I guess both of you roll for advantage. <laughs> roll for advantage? I mean, yeah, roll for, we... not for advantage, roll for initiative. Because this isn't really a, spy, it's not really a surprise attack. Yeah. So, yeah, Valmaya and Nikoya, okay. roll for advantage. Roll for, that could be an advantage. Roll for initiative. I'm just going to hide 21. behind. <laughs> 11. Okay, Nikoya, you see uh, Valmaya get up and, like, lunge at you. I mean, it makes sense. Valmaya stood up poorly, screamed imposter, right. is high <laughs> off her ass. I just dodge. Uh, you can take the dodge action, absolutely. Yeah, I'll just dodge. Uh, well, how is this going to work? Because I was going to give her disadvantage anyway. It doesn't stack, does it? No, no, no. Disadvantage Maybe. doesn't stack. Yeah, because because giving taking dodge means they would have to roll disadvantage anyway. Um. So okay. So yeah, uh, Valmaya, go ahead and well, first of all, what are you trying to do? Just like grapple him, like wrap your arms around him, or just, just run into him? Tackle him to the ground. Tackle him. Okay, tackle him to the ground. Uh, roll uh dexterity with disadvantage, please. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, you know what? I'll give you I'll give you uh, uh, athletics on this because it is kind of a wrestling thing. It's more of like a grapple, right? Yeah. That's not better. Twelve. Uh, and your AC, Nikoya? Uh oh gosh, uh, it is thirteen. Damn okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You go, and you go to uh, jump on Nikoya, you go to attack on Nikoya, and, and, God, you swear he was just there, but you just, like, ran right by him. <laughs> oh my god, he fucking disappeared! <laughs> Tur turn around. So you're right here, so you, okay, so you're, like, you basically run right past him. Where's the water? Do I fall into the water? No, nope, not yet. Okay. Where is the water on that map? Yeah, the water is like right about here. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's, uh. Don't have a. Uh, um. Uh, okay, we'll do this. We'll say this is the edge of the water right there. So. Okay. Um, so. Ta da! Okay, so you do that. Um, you basically miss and you kind of side steps and you go right past him. Does she fall? Uh, she... That's a good question. Why don't you roll another? Damn <laughs> <laughs> it, Nikoya. Beat a Ted. Sure. Ooh. Six feet. Okay. Okay. You just okay. You just stop. Look behind you. See the kobold standing there. And okay. Uh, meanwhile, like the rest of you, uh, Kelwin, like the sudden jar, everything, like the sudden jolt, and everything dripping fast, and the clouds moving by fast, has kind of settled now. Now everything's kind of like, you know, a little slower, a little more mellow. What do you want, O Cobalt of the Lake? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, love 
hold of the lake butter. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Sound of the old. Whole whole story. Um, oh, uh, my, my voice is still booming for like a full minute, right? That's how that works. I think so. For Thalmaturgy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to keep my arms raised and I'll be like, save my people! <laughs> okay. The uh, older kobolds around are looking at you like, just like very confused. The kids are laughing at you, but the older kobolds are kind of like going into the water, like the shallow end, and like pulling their kids back. A little bit. <laughs> uh, oh, kobold of the lake, we're going to do that first thing tomorrow. How? Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> With the wings. <laughs> Uh, right. I guess I'll just say, save them or perish, and then I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. Oh, come back. <laughs> All right, you cast invisibility on yourself. Uh, and then I'm going to run away. I run away. How are you going to run away? Uh, uh, like a cobalt wood. Oh, but I mean, what <laughs> direction? So yeah, you're going to go like way in that way? Yes, sure, sure. Okay. Um, like a cobalt would. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a t-shirt. No, take my candle. Alright. Um, okay. <laughs> so, you run away. You're 25, right? 30, 30 is my... Alright. I lean over to Winter. Okay. If it's yeah. save them or perish... Isn't that... If we didn't save them, doesn't that mean we were dead anyway? Isn't that the goal? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot in here? What is the goal of anything? <laughs> Wait, uh... Um... Okay, so you guys are just kind of... Lucky is actually just kind of laying on her back, paws up, and occasionally her tail twitch, his tail twitches, mm -hmm. and he chases it a little bit, <laughs> and it keeps moving, and he's really confused by that. Um, okay. And then eventually he just kind of lays on his side. Kellen takes okay. his armor off. <laughs> nice. Uh, Lucky, mm -hmm. while you're uh, lying on your back, mm -hmm. uh, watching your own tail twitch. <laughs> yes. Uh, a gigantic paw steps on it. <gasps> Is it his own paw? <laughs> <laughs> Can you I look up? Do I feel it? You you feel it, uh, oh and you look up and you see looking over you, looking down at you, is a gigantic cat. Its whiskers are puffed out towards you. It is a gorgeous, like, leopard-looking cat. It has, like, you know, the nice golden fur, the, the, the almost not brown spots, more like glowing hazel spots. It has beautiful glowing green eyes, and it's looking down at you. And it takes another paw and just kind of bats you a little bit. On what? It just bats you a little bit, like claws in. Where? On, on, your on my tail or on, your on me? On your shoulder. It's stepping on your tail and it's kind of batting you a little bit. And it looks down at you and goes, I haven't had to watch over you too much. But you're very entertaining. Aww. It looks around and it sees, you know, not, uh, I guess we, you call I them. I do happy paws in the uh, air. And you see. Cairns, you see like some cairns, you know, the stacked rocks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like the children have been uh, built along the lake. And he like looks over one and knocks one off, knocks one down. <laughs> and he looks back at you. And I puff up a little bit because it's amazing. <laughs> and, and, and he leans down and, and with a big, wet, stubbly tongue licks the side of your face. <laughs> then he stands up, looks upward toward the stalactites. Wait, 
and sees the clouds going by and leaps up into the air chasing a cloud and disappears. While that's happening, uh, Kelwin has stripped <laughs> butt-ass naked. <laughs> no. and, uh, so all you guys can see is Lucky going, oh, oh, he, he paws, and she moves her face, and then like, you notice her face is wet, and you guys can't figure out why. And so, yes, Lucky, you have just been visited by the Cat Lord. <laughs> um... So, okay, so Kelwin has gotten naked. And I'm just, uh, like, wading into the glowing pool. Now, the kids, the cobalt kid, the cobalt children are just now laughing their asses off. Because they just see a pink... Bright pink red hair, black, bright, bright red, red bush. Red hair, no armor, they just... The, and, and some of the adult cobalts are now laughing. <laughs> I was laughing as well, but while they're like dragging their kids away, <laughs> See, the the grotto is getting emptier and emptier. As <laughs> I'm just gonna calmly lay on my back in the glowing grotto and look at the clouds, naked, okay, in the pool, okay. <laughs> floating. <laughs> can I, can I have found like a quiet place to drop my illusions and then come back now? Sure. So Nikoya uh, saunters up. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Where do you, would you like to be? Uh, just, uh, yeah, there's, there's good. And I'll okay. just say, where's my, where's... Not, not, not too close to Kelwin. <laughs> right. I'm in the, I'm in the water. <laughs> He's in the water. Oh, you're, oh, you went to the water, that's like... right. In the water, in the water. In oh, Kelwin's in the water, I didn't know that, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just gonna ask, where's, where's my bit of the mushroom? Oh, we saved it. I think it's in Kelwin's pocket, and he's in the water now, so, ew. Naked. Yeah, but no, I'm naked, no. so they're closed oh, on the shore. Oh, right. So, it's in the I'll pocket on the, the shore pockets. somewhere. Okay, you rummage through. And you're going to have some rummage and there. Grab it. Okay. And okay, I'll, so you, uh... I'm just going to save it for later. Oh, okay, you're not going to take it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So, um... Okay. I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to collapse on the ground and then drag myself over to Lucky and just kind of lay oh. myself over Lucky. <laughs> and Lucky rolls over and does like a whole okay. snuggle thing. I kick a little bit with my feet, but then I snuggle. Um, okay, well, you're, well, you, there, you've got like your head on, 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 you've got your head on like Lucky's belly. <laughs> I'm very soft. And then... <laughs> And maybe maybe he's like uh, you know running his his fingers through your hair, his paws his paws through your hair, and his tail, tail's kind of like twitching above oh, you, just I like you know. Um, right and as you you watch the tail flick above you, um, you see uh, more of the tails, like more tail, like a second tail. Then a third tail, then a fourth, and then five or six tails. And they all start to intertwine. They form into this well-dressed elf that you don't recognize at first. And you wonder, where have I seen this elf before? And it looks at you and says, I know you're the one. I'll be coming to collect my debt soon. And you suddenly recognize it as the wealthy aristocrat you stole from to be able to afford passage to Inglestone. Uh, and then he starts kind of dissolving a little bit tail comes back and then multiple tails and then they start to form into something else and you recognize the creature the tentacled creature that with the, the, the tentacled head that came it saved you from drowning is he, he said, less yes. gross when he's made out of cat tails uh no he's full on gross now okay and it says in a kind of a, a drippy, <laughs> ominous voice, yes, I'll be coming to collect soon. And then 
that kind of unravels back into a tail, and then there's tail, and then you see more clouds above, and and the clouds start going up and down like the sea. Um, it's weird, like clouds in the surface of the ocean. It's very calming and soothing, and you just kind of stare off and look at that for a while, kind of almost forgetting, not forgetting, but almost not even caring about the vision you just saw. Pushing it deep <laughs> Actually, down. <I'm> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so, uh, Winter, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> I look at Kellen floating <laughs> in the water, and I start to fucking panic, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, our boss, our leader, he's gonna drown, he's not okay, what, I have to save him? <laughs> And I like get out my net and I start running into the water and I like throw the net at him. <laughs> so you run into the water. Yeah, I'm trying to rescue Kelly because right. he's really into the Okay. <laughs> I'm floating on my back. Oh, I love it. Well, uh, first of all, no, he's totally know. fine and you're like, no. Anxiety let's anxiety's a bitch. Let's roll let's roll dexterity for standing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> So roll the body, um, please. We've got a no. <laughs> okay. Uh, you stand up, and then you like you stand up, and then you basically fall straight ahead. <laughs> and you're basically you're right here, but like your face is in the water. <laughs> uh, you can either try to get up or just roll over, um, or get on your knees or. I'm gonna try and get up. Okay, you're gonna try to get up. Uh, roll another, roll another D twenty for me, please, with disadvantage, by the way. <laughs> Actually, not disadvantage. Just roll regular. What was it? What am I rolling? I missed D twenty. D twenty. Beat it to ten. Boop, boop. Is it Dex again? Yeah. Dex. Roll six. Six. So you try to get up again, and you sit down. And you just fall in your. <laughs> so now you're like. In kind of like on in, in this on the edge of the lake, you're sitting in the water, your butt's getting wet. So now, not I'm only are you panicking about me, running. you're like crying at how helpless you are that you can't even save. Me. Uh, so yeah, you're sitting there, you're like freaking out, you're freaking out, and and all of a sudden, uh, you feel a a hand on your shoulder, and and you look up, and you see it's your mom. Mother! And she just says, Mama March! And she just says, Winter, there, there. You wouldn't want your father to see you like this. Who oh, is father? Oh, I'm sure he'll let you know sometime. He's probably watching over you. I miss you, Mother. I miss you too, Winter. I love you, Bobby. <laughs> I love you too, my little snowflake. I feel fun. <laughs> you feel fun. Okay, so you suddenly feel a sense of calm. And 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 you don't even realize it when it happens, but you can just no longer feel the hand on your shoulder. But you still feel the nice nice sense of calm and it was nice to be visited by your mom. Okay. So Kelwin, you're floating there like a cork. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A very dense dwarven very cork. Very naked cork. Yeah. Yep. Huge. And... <laughs> Thick <laughs> cork. <laughs> you know, for a dwarf. Yeah. And you're just sitting there watching the clouds go by the, the ceiling and looking at the dripping stalactites. And suddenly the world seems to flip. You don't flip, but everything above you flips, and the stalactites turn into mountains, like they form into nice snow-capped mountains, and then the clouds disappear, and set up the bright, bright blue sky above it. And you are looking at, like, just the clearest, brightest, coldest day you can remember. And and it brings you... Uh, something, something. Snow-covered hills and the landslide... <laughs> came tumbling down <laughs> but you just get that feeling oh, i it's saw my really, reflection 
<laughs> you're not homesick. You're. It's almost like nostalgic. It's like you know, you see the the, the snow-covered peaks and the the clear blue sky, and and you can feel the cold. It's weird. You don't feel cold, but you can tell it's cold, and it's very very. Uh, it's it's very peaceful, um, until uh, you hear a rumbling, and you can see a cloud of dust coming up from behind the mountains and getting closer and closer and closer and and suddenly uh the entire entire field of vision is filled with a gigantic drow army running toward you um and it just basically runs past you and through you and to the other side and and suddenly it's just you're still looking up at stalactites and clouds Um, and so basically that's, you don't really see much of anything else. There's no dreams, no vision. You basically just, everything's kind of wavy and shimmery and the ground doesn't feel as stable as it should, but the water for Kelwin feels more stable than it should. It's just a very weird sensation you guys are having. And, and before you know it, um, and uh, well, actually, Nikoya, what are you doing? Because should, should I wink, wink? Have eaten this mushroom too? <laughs> um, oh, I'm not gonna sure, say. Sure, sure. You, no, you don't have mushroom. to. You don't have to. You're not. I'll tell you this. You're not going to miss anything if you don't. Uh, okay, I'm gonna save it for later then. Okay. Um. So, uh, I mean, it's up to your character. If your character's feeling FOMO. <laughs> Then he would eat it, but if you're so it's basically what would your character what would WWND what would Nikoya do? What would North Dakota? What would North Dakota do? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we know. Yeah. Uh, that would um So anyway, okay. So yeah. Uh Okay, so you guys, I mean before you know it, hours have passed. Uh, Nikoya, however, has probably been bored out of her mind for... Took a nap or something. <laughs> Took a nap, okay. So, so Nikoya is just kind of hanging out, being mellow. Time passes normally for Nikoya. But before you guys, uh, you guys have noticed, um... Okay, the, the, in, you guys are kind of like... You're not, you know, you're still very high, but you're not out of it anymore. And you kind of notice the indigo in the grotto has getting more redder warmer tones and it's it's you can tell uh the the violet is going to move on to violet next so you get the feeling it is very very late in the day you're not quite sure the degrees of how the the color change works um you don't think you've been there for like you know 12 hours but uh you really have no way of knowing nikoya can probably guess you've been there for about six to eight um the rest of you, uh, you do feel like you could make it back to your rooms at this point. I guess we'll do I that. I'm that's a good call. Very yeah. pruny. We'll do like a little like buddy system train where we just okay, yeah. Basically, yeah. Room. So basically, I'll lead you back. Nikoya's like, okay, guys, uh, this has been real. We should probably get back. Um, so Nikoya leads you all. You're kind of like, you know, you're still like, and now that you're walking through like the streets of this, you know, these, these towering carvings going over you, and you're these narrow caverns, and you're like, everything's kind of like breathing in and out, and it feels really narrow, but then it feels really wide, and you guys are like, guys, uh, <laughs> my clothes. <laughs> Lucky has hidden his clothes. <laughs> Lucky has taken his clothes while he was floating and putting it put it behind a rock. Uh, we're gonna say, looking at the map, we're gonna go with northwest in the farthest corner we can go, behind a rock, even under a rock. Like, like here? <laughs> nope. Like right here? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's east. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my inventory just like oh, wait, on the so water. Hey, that's water. Oh, yeah. it just it, whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In the back I corner. Have to work with here. <laughs> on the on the far shore. I hope we it's didn't possible. get it too far before I was like my Never clothes. Been. Okay. Uh, uh, on the shoulder and he's like, dude, uh, don't worry about it. You look great. <laughs> fine. You're fine. 
was this so where you put it wait a second did you put it so here okay so lucky says that's where he put it but actually he put it in his bag and he'll give it back oh, to him okay. later all right well then i won't roll if it was all stolen <laughs> wow <laughs> now lucky has all his shit okay. but it's being like i don't know we'll have to find so, it later i don't know what happened wait before. okay so there you, you said we went there with like all of our shit right so mm -hmm. there's a halberd and yeah. splint mail <laughs> that you were just carrying. You're, you're also super high. So right are now. you. I, mean, uh, I know, Lucky is too, but is this enough for either one of us to really <laughs> notice? Do you Sometimes notice that if he's carrying all this shit? You guys get well. Do you notice that I'm carrying all this shit? Hold on. You guys get way more than halfway back to your room. <laughs> <laughs> and Elwood's suddenly like, where's my stuff? And Lucky's like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I have, like, five you, things like, over my shoulder. And you're like, did I leave it back there? And Lucky's like, you must have. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we gotta go Sounds back. Like personal problem. What and, if someone stole it? You realize you're still naked. <laughs> So just... you walk through half the town, buck ass naked, <laughs> and and then you like eventually you see the fact that she's holding your uh, your halberd it dawns on you, or he's holding your halberd dawns he... on you, and he, yes, um so yeah so uh oh this <laughs> I can't wear that I found this. <laughs> Can, oh, oh, can you at least you give me stuff. like? Oh, we should find other stuff then. Oh my Wait, God. that's mine. <sighs> that's mine. Are you holding just... your cover in front of you modestly? I found all this yeah. stuff. <laughs> that's definitely my stuff. Can you at mm -hmm. least give me a breach clout? What? Undies. What, what? Give me undies. <laughs> no. I don't know if I have those. Let me look. <laughs> clang, <laughs> clang, clang. <laughs> oh, I have this little hand towel. Do you want that? <laughs> I don't think a hand towel is in your inventory, Lucky. <laughs> Here's not. a sock. <laughs> Here's a sock. <laughs> Just, sure. A little Fine. Tiny sock. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, the rest of you, uh... <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm carrying this huge bag of shit. There's chain mail in there. That alone weighs 55 pounds. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling. I'm yeah, struggling, you're but it's worth it. Um, so now you guys are all, uh, Kelwin is red hot chili peppering it back to his place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, alright. So, Nikoya, you're like, you know... You're the, you're the one sober guy, <laughs> some sober gal. Uh, so you put everybody to bed. Uh, Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, uh, you go back to your room. Uh, you lie down. And suddenly, as you're drifting off to sleep, uh, you feel the corner of the bed sink a little bit. Okay. And you open your eyes and you look up and you see your sister. <gasps> what? Is it Valmaya? And she said Surprise. <laughs> 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 and she just looks at you and she says, I'm not suffering anymore. Thank you. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> and then she turns into the creature that you bargained with her life for. You bargained for her life with. Excuse me, that's better. You bargained for her life with. <laughs> and says winter. And the creature says but others are, and you've done nothing to alleviate their suffering. It is keeping me up 
at night. You owe me, and I expect you to fill your part of the bargain. Or maybe your sister will suffer. Oh. And then he disappears. And you realize you never had any of the mushroom. And we're going to end it there. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> Oh my god. I think Nicole is gonna have my nice quiet to sleep. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Let's sign off, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On that note, uh, thank you for watching, whoever was watching. Uh, again, Rescued by Dragons, rescuedbydragons.com, uh, our YouTube channel. It's a Watch all these if you. I mean, I don't know why you jump in to watch this one and not the others. Because <laughs> this one's a good uh, we also one. We have other videos, animation. Wait, we have a YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> Even I know that. <laughs> uh, kind of. Ryan has some great DM videos. We have some great animations from our other campaign. Uh, hopefully, we can get some animations from this campaign uh, from the amazing Fred Rawls. Uh, but yeah, all right. Thank you for watching. And all right, we'll see you. Next time. Bye. Wait. Oh, wait. wait. Oh. oh, we're holding. Things. We have a visitor. Oh, you've been visited by the cat lord. Oh, the cat god. The cat lord. With the cat lord orders. has oh, visited. Cat lord. Okay, oh. okay bye. Happy <laughs> cheer.